Hello everyone, my name is Michelle. Today we are going to go through another questions in database category. So today we are going to do the number uh, 177 and the title is Nth High Cesare. It is, uh, should be um, to the middle level of the uh, complexity. So we put the medium here. And so far, let's go to uh, the question itself. So we basically have the same uh, employee table as we did for the previous questions. And for this time, it asks us to give the above employee table and the nth high salary when n is equal to 2, which would be the 200. So the nth high salary is currently uh, depending on the person who calls this function. So if he put the input n is equal to 2, then which means we want to find the second highest salary, and the output would be the 200. And another sentence is about that if there is no nth highest salary, then the query should return now. Okay, so let's start writing this uh, query. As we uh, just quickly recall the previous uh, solutions for the previous questions, we actually need the SQL basic syntax as a select from. And for this time, we're also going to use a group by. Why we do uh, why we need to use a group by? Because sometimes the salary may be duplicate. Uh, I could give an example here. So for the salary itself, it may contains as like 100, 200, 200, 300, 300, and 400. So if we do the other by as previous steps, if we do the other by and descending the salary, we will get an output as 400, 300, 300, 200, and 200, and then finally 100. So when we ask the n's highest uh, uh, salary, that may be indicated to the second one in this, um, I mean, in this table. Or if we want to find the distinguished salary as a reference, then the second highest salary. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe the third salary would be a better choice. So if we want to find the uh, third highest salary, if we do not, uh, uh, I mean, remove the duplicate ones, then the third highest salary would be still be the 300, right? Because the first one is 400, the second one is 300, and the third one is 300. But normally when we say the um, nth highest salary, we will say some, like, I mean, distinguished salary. So for the third highest salary, that may be also indicated with 400, 300, since they are exactly same with each other, so we're just using one as a second highest salary. So for the third highest salary, that will be two hundred. This is a good question for you to ask the in, I mean, the interviewer to clarify. But for here, we actually uh, focus on. I mean, we actually thinking that if the salary is duplicate, then we only count once. So which means if uh, all the salaries are 300, then they are all second highest salary. So if they are 200 salaries, then all of the salary who has 200 is the third highest salary. Okay, let's write the query here. So we always put select from here and away from one particular table for here, which indicates with the employee table. And we group by the salary to uh, eliminate the duplicate salaries and then order by the salary to find the highest to the lowest. Since the default, uh, by default, it is ascending for the order by, so we could put the descending here to make the highest to the lowest again. So um, I think one thing we need to notice is about the limit function. So for the limit, we're actually using M and 1 here. Why is we have two parts? Because sometimes when we're using the limit, we're only using limit 1, which means we only choose the highest one. But actually for the limit function, it uh, defined as two parts. The first one is offset, and the second one is count. So for the offset, mean, uh, I mean for these two different arguments, the first argument, which is offset, which is specifies the offset of the first row to return. 
and for the count, it actually、uh, specifies the maximum、uh, numbers of rows to return. So for here, we use n because we want to find the、uh, the nth、uh, row to. Uh, return. This is would be the first row for us to return the amps row. And for when we count, we only want to find one peculiar series, so we only return with one. And for here, uh, we didn't find anything before as m because we need to declare m out of this uh, I mean this return function. So what we'll do is declare m, and that would be a int. Because m is actually a number, so what is that? So we set the m is equals to a min a minus one. The reason why we do it because the offset of the limit is started with zero, not one. So when we want to find the nth highest value, actually it is in the index of n minus one. So we put m is equals to n minus one, and before we unit m, we should uh declare the m. Uh, I'm sorry, I've gotta see. So we should declare the n with a、uh, data、uh, format with int. Okay, and、uh, as the very last, we need to、uh, put the select here. So after we do all these kind of things, we already find the n's highest salary. So just、uh, simply choosing, I mean, select the salary column is okay. So let's submit this question. Let me solution. Ah,、uh, I think I do something wrong here. Let me double check. Select salary. Oh, I think I mean less of this semicolon. Okay, it's correct, but it's a little bit slow. Let me、uh, redo it again, and it's way much better than earlier. Then we do it again. Okay, so we see it from dramatically from like three hundred milliseconds to one hundred and seventy-seven milliseconds. So this is actually a tricky one when doing all the summations with the lit code. Sometimes, if for a、uh, particular、uh, solutions, you submit several times, it will have different responding time, which means you have different execution time. So sometimes I think you'd better not focus too much on the, I mean. The how many percentage faster than the other submissions? Like for this very simple、um, questions, the most thing we need to focus on is for this limit part. So we need to learn how do we use a limit. So limit is contains with two, uh, uh, a uh, sorry, two arguments. The first one is offset, and the second one is the count. And besides that, we should clear that the offset one is the initial、uh, row is zero, is not one. So we need to put n minus one here. Actually, m is equals to n minus one. Okay, thank you so much. This is solution for the number one hundred and seventy-seven. If you have any questions, welcome to give me any comments, and I will reply you as soon as possible. Otherwise. Please subscribe my channel or like my、uh, videos, please. And also, please, please recommend my videos to your friends. And all your support will make me, I mean, work further. <laughs> Thank you so much. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.